Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration of how to backtest the Algo strategy building tool. Um, in a previous video, I gave you a quick demo of using the tool on the CTrader trade window. Now I'm going to use the CTrader automate application. And this is where you'll be running all your automated trading systems. So we advise you, if you are going to run this, to run it from here. It's more configurable. So I'm assuming you already know how to use CTrader automate and how to backtest your trading robots. If you're not familiar with it, um, if you look at our previous videos or our um, knowledge base, you should be able to find out how to actually use the CTrader Automate window for backtesting. So I'm going to go ahead and just give you a quick backtest of one of the strategies that we uh, created previously. So you highlight your strategy builder CBOT here, you add a CBOT instance, then we start the CBOT. Okay, if we start the CBOT, it'll go for the verification window. You'll build your strategy like this, same as before. Um, you can open the strategy, review strategy and run. Now this is exactly the same as running it in the uh, trade window. So this can run the strategy this way, but I'm going to show you how to back test. Um, if I go to this tab here, you can see the strategy is actually running. So I'm going to stop that. Now to back test, what you need to do is click on the back test tab here. Then you need to run CBOT through the play icon here, which will run the back test. This will run the same thing as before. It'll open up the verify window. Then it will open up the um, window here that's got the strategy builder. So what we need to do, we can either build a strategy from scratch, like we did in the last video, and click um, run the strategy and it will run the back test. Or we can load a previously created strategy and run it that way. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually load in the one we created in the previous video, which is the 5815. Actually, I think that should have been the 5813 EMA um, strategy. So if I click on there and click open, then if I go to choose indicators, yeah, I've, I've misnamed that um, strategy. If you do um, name the strategy incorrectly, you can rename it later on. I'll show you how. So this is the strategy that we built previously, which is the exponential moving average, 5, 8, and 13 periods. It's got the same trade rules in there. It's got the same uh, risk management and trade actions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify this by unchecking the box, close trades on opposite signal. This means that it will only close trades on the risk management of a take profit of six or a stop loss of 100. When I had this checked previously, it means when the opposite signal occurs, it will close a buy or a sell. So now I'm gonna review the strategy. Now I'm gonna save it here and just rename it correctly, which is 5813 EMA, I click save. Um, at any time I can go to the start building window, I can open up uh, manage and you can see a list of all your strategies that you previ uh, previously have been created. So I'm going to go to the review strategy. Now to back test it, you just click run strategy. Now this is just run a back test and you can see the history of the trades that have opened down here. So it's that easy to do. So at any time again, I can click on the on the back test tab on C Trade Automate, the play button, start the application. Um, I can load in any of the strategies that I've created previously. You open, click on the review strategy, run strategy. So the back tests are a bit quick, not as fast as using a sort of a normal automated trading system where you can just click on the play button. It's a little bit more to it, but this allows you to build your automated trading systems um, without any coding experience by um, selecting the indicators you want to use in the trade rules. So a very quick example of how to do that. Thank you very much. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Cheers.